Stephen A. Smith, you already know, weighed in on the whole entire Zion Williamson situation, you know, with Miss Mills. I mean, this thing is crazy. I mean, seriously, it seems like every day it's a new report, a new inkling of something. And, you know, it, you know, it wasn't going to take long before Stephen A. added his two cents. And I wouldn't say he came to the defense of any of them. I mean, he held Zion Williamson accountable. He held, you know, Miss Mills accountable. I mean, it, it, it's crazy <clears throat> with the whole situation, you know, um, because Zion has just been getting thrown through the mud. Everybody has an opinion on it, you know, but Stephen A. did allude to why we may have not seen, you know, Zion on the floor, you know, when we needed him, you know, also why we didn't, you know, it's just a lot of things with Zion and he, he brought up legs. We're going to get all into it. It's flight sports. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more news updates and more on Stephen A. Smith and also the Zion Williamson debacle. We're going to be highlighting everything on this situation. So, you know, Zion Williamson name has just been all over, you know, just the trade, you know, rumors and everything, you know, she's came out, you know, and, and said that she has just everything to expose, you understand? So it's just like, it's really put an onus, you know, on himself, uh, the Pelicans organization, you know, it's almost like they got, they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place, you know, um, this situation pretty much backed them into a corner. Uh, I think I do think now as the draft is slowly approaching, you know, fastly approaching, I may say, um, I do think this was some form of damage control on the part of David Griffin, you know, because I think with the report, last reports that we seen from um, the, the the woman, she she basically is like, you know, talking about do this, do that, train him now. You know, and it just sounds crazy. You understand me? So it kind of put herself kind of in a tough spot because I think you kind of, I think everybody now was just believing that this is some kind of, you know, some money game, you know, something going on, you know. And also Stephen A was saying how, you know, basically meth fooling around, you know, the things that he was doing, you know, off the floor led to him not being on the floor, you understand, because he did not, you know, properly monitor, you know, his body, you know, his endurance, things of that nature, you know, and he, like I said, he was never healthy, you know, and I mean, it is what it is. He's he's never had a fully healthy season. He's had, he's been healthy for spurts and then he's out. So, um, there's a lot of things that he needs to do you know, um, to get his whole situation right. Also, she said that basically Stephen A was trying to figure out why, you know, because the nature of the business that she's in um, pretty much wouldn't have a problem with the Zion situation, you understand? And he was kind of lost with that, you know, because it seemed like a little bit, this guy took him to the, to the 30, 30th degree, you know. Um, so it's just... Um, it's tough, you know, that this all arose like this and possibly Zion was on the cusp or possibly could be on the cusp of getting moved. I would, it would be crazy, but you got to think about it. All this news would just travel, you know, um, who is, is another team's issue, you know, then eventually the league would have to get involved because I'm hearing that uh, accounts was, um, you know, took down and all kind of stuff. You know, I mean, when you start, when you send out a situation, I'm hearing that the um, people was contacting the um, the basketball association. I mean, got everything, the NBA. It, this was wild. Why? Why was? Why was she doing like, these things? I mean, like I said, I it, it was not only done obviously to put Zion in the tough spot. You know, in, in the off season, you know, he's trying to get his body right. You know, and I'm not advocating because I don't know anything. You know, I'm just going off the reports that's that's happening. You know, with this situation, you know, um, he got he got to shake this off. The only way to shake this off is on the floor. You're not gonna shake this off with interviews and you know walkthroughs and sneakers and you know you have to perform. And I think that's what everybody wants to see. You know, all Pelicans fans want a winner. You know, and Zion Williamson, he has to be able to deliver that for the team. You know, in my opinion, he is the head of the snake. He don't need these kind of escapades. Um, you know, 
And then he also said that Zion didn't do anything wrong. And this was Stephen A. You know, Zion is not in any situation, you know, so he was pretty much acting independent, doing his thing. You know, that's what he was pretty much alluding to. He didn't, he didn't see where Zion was, you know, at fault here. It seemed like, you know, it was like, the, and the sad part is these things happen a lot, you know, um, in a, a, every day what's going on with Zion is just that we wouldn't expect it from a, you know, a person in his stature, you know, but clearly, you know, the, like I said, things got to change. I'm pretty sure he sees that. And I think the more and more he coupled some great seasons along with good rapport and things of that nature, I think you, you're going to be she going to be straight. He's got to make sure he's healthy, though, because that's one of the biggest issues with Zion Williamson, because even right now, as we're speaking, who's to say that he's going to be healthy to start, you know, this this upcoming season? You know, I'm just saying, you know, and, and if he's not healthy, you're going to have more problems. You understand? Now, now there's more issues that that's arising if, if he's unavailable. You know, and th this thing is going fast. Before you know it, it's going to be the start of training camp. You know, so Zion got, got clauses in his contract. You can't have, and this put pressure on him because what this has done is there's no way he could roll into training camp not healthy, out of shape, even though there's a clause in there, but there's no way you could BS around. He got to make sure he in tip-top shape, ready to endure a whole entire season, at least pr look like you tried to do that. You can't look like you've been having escapades and all this other stuff, you know, um, all throughout the whole season. You know, you got New Orleans. New Orleans is a good, great city. They, they're all the way behind him. You know, he's supposed to, you know, take them to never-before-seen heights. He's got a great co-star down there. So it's a lot of bright spots. As much as we want to talk about the negative things in New Orleans, uh, when are we going to highlight the actual bright spots? And there's many. There's a lot of things that we can highlight and say, you know what, this this is great, you know, what they got going on here. You know, all jokes aside, man, seriously. You know, but it's crazy. That's all I can let y'all know, man. It's, it's Flight Sports TV, man. Listen. I can't wait till this is over, you know, in terms of we put this behind us and get to back to basketball. You know, it was up to Zion Williams and what he wants to do, you know, with his career. You know, uh, do you want to change it or do you want, you know, more of the same? You know, and I, that, that's the question I pose for Zion. What do the New Orleans Pelicans want? You know, well, what's the future of the franchise? You know, y'all got decisions to make, you know. And we're going to find out. This bigger than Miss Mills, you know, um, but this was a massive distraction. And I can't wait till it's over. Hit the like button. And most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Peace and love. <laughs>